cheapish winger, eye for goal, good pace. So look. What's happening, folks, and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FM21 series where we look at some young talent on Foot Manager and we see how they get on over the course of their careers. Both players that you guys give me in the comment section for ideas and players that I find myself. So if you've got a player you want me to give me um, to look at, then actually not in here, actually, in the Discord down below. There's a link to the Discord link down below where you can check out the latest link to. Um, the, the series and you can get your player sessions in that section in the discord and i will get back to you with an update whether whether they made it made it into video or not don't forget down below hit the like button subscribe us over daily fm content coming on friday or saturday probably the first video of the fifa 21 career mode on the second channel will start we've got the thumbnail ready we've got the graphics ready we've, we've finalizing everything and all that kind of stuff so keep an eye out for that i'll probably do a video to say it started um when we get up and running today's player is a greek winger called Christios Tezolis. I'm probably saying everything completely wrong, but I'm going with it anyway. Um, a young winger with a decent amount of pace for 18 years that will, that will increase. Right, um, right footed. I was a right winger then. Um, right footed. Very strong on his uh, left foot. Very strong on his right foot. So you could argue maybe sort of two footed, maybe. Can play striker as well. Um, you know, it's a it's down to personal preference, but. With dribbling being 14, um, I would say keep, keep, keep him wide. Uh, but that's down first preference, really. So, unfortunately, you can't get him in the first season because he signed a contract in 2020. In 2020? Well, I'm way in the future. Um, 2020, so you can't really get him on that in the first season. But look at the scout report here on him. You've got a two-star potential player with a four-star potential. Two-star current ability, sorry. And four-star potential, maybe five. He was. He's not interested in signing on... As, as I said, but you can make him on loan at a club if you at a club if you want to get him if you want to try that. He's consistent performer, which is good. Like to see that as a trait. Uh, can play in two positions, like I said. Striker could be could be an option. Fair amount of pace, professional. Um, he's currently international, so work paint will be an issue. Um, and he's should have no problems adapting to another country. And these things, work in the department, would he learn a language? Um, and people figure in the squad would be expected for a young player from another country. It make, makes sense. So, currently valued at uh, £3 million. There is, the release clause is none in his contract. So, yeah, let's go forward, guys. Let's see how he gets on early on and how he develops. All right, folks. So, he's now at Juventus. He's 22 years old and worth £28 million. Acceleration good, agility good, pace not terrible. It's not 18, 19, but it's not bad, is it, for a 22-year-old? Um, 14 finishing, 14 composure, which is good versus 16, 16 flair, good technique, good dribbling as well. Player traits, good since from left wing, which is still the same. Injury records, so we could look at this. He's really good, if I'm honest with you, nothing there really concerning me at all. Then you look at his career stats here. So he was at uh, PAOK and he got 17 goals and three assists first season. They got 14 and seven, then nine and eight. Moved to Juventus for a fee of £12.5 million. Pounds, got 5 and 4 and 15 appearances. Not bad. And then second season, kicked on a bit more. 37 appearances, uh, 12 goals, 3 assists. So if you're paying for £12.5 million, pound, they may be paying £17 million pound overall cost based on add-ons and what they've agreed to. It's still not a bad signing, really. At this point in his career, obviously, this is where he is at 22. So still going to be a chance to develop at this point. Um, just getting, he's getting played, really. Um, again... No loose clause, but again, once you can continue, every game is different. So, let's continue to his out to mid twenties. Right, he's now at Arsenal, and straight away, what jumps out at me immediately is the decent increases in his uh, mental stats. Obviously, valuation at sixty million pounds, sixteen dribbling and technique, and fifteen finishing and technique as well. Pretty good. Pace is decent. It's obviously I prefer to be a bit higher, but that's my personal preference. Um, new traits, you've got loose, move, move balls in the channels, cuts inside from both wings, likes to play ball, likes ball, likes ball playing defeat, and cuts inside from the left wing. He can play striker, like I said, so you can make this guy a striker. I think if you don't, if you don't, if, if the pace is not an issue for you, then playing wide. But for me, I would say could be a striker. Um, advanced forward would be a good role, I think, for him, maybe. Um, because the finishing's there, the composure's there, the off the ball's there. The technique's good as well. So striker definitely could be done. And obviously you've seen that they've played him in that in that role. Half and half, really. 
So definitely something that you can definitely look into. Uh, if I play with multifunctional, so I think if you find that he's better in the striker role or you're missing a striker and you want to bring him in that role, then you definitely could do that. So I'll look at his injury record again here. Pit injury free, I like that. I like that. Well, again, not injury free as, you know, to, to the zero, but still a good amount of um, record of injuries there. So looking at this here, so he got 12 and 3 that year, 10 and 5, 8 and 4, moved to Arsenal for 19.5 million pounds, rising to 22 million pounds, 17 goals and 3, and then 10 and 8. Now, obviously, you could maybe argue this season he would move around a little bit more, so maybe that's unsettled him a little bit, maybe. But I think this guy is fantastic. For the fee you're paying for, not over the massive fee, he can play two roles. He's got good, decent, well-rounded stats. I think, obviously, it would depend on you, your, your team where you're preferring to be. He's, I would say, generally two-footed, not bang on, but it's pretty good. I, mean, I don't have any problems with him hitting, hitting a shot with his left foot. Not got massive injury proners looking at these stats here. This is quite not quite basic, nothing really standing out as a concern there. So nicely round of player for a fee you're paying for. I think he's a very, very nice little gem for you. Obviously, can't get him for a season, but maybe check in long term. So let's see if you can continue to get double figures at Arsenal in the next four years. Right, folks, now 30 years old. As you can see, uh, still relatively the same stats. Nothing really decreased massively. That's a big concern for me. Pace is still actually, actually gone up by one. Overall, the injury record quickly, looking at this again, one big injury for two months, but he's nearing back, back in his career, so not too much of a concern for me, the development. Arsenal, so £22 million, they ended up paying for him, uh, total. Uh, then looking at 10 and 8, then 13 and 7, 9 and 3, 14 and 12, and then 18 and 7. When did he play this season? He played, he played strike, he played left wing. So I think, I would say with this guy, he's not all expensive. He can play two positions. I would say sign him and dis and pick him in one position because you see the best return at Arsenal when he, when he played as one left winger. I think if you, I think I'm not saying you can't move him around occasionally, but make him so he's even left winger. He's my striker. I think you could play either role. Fine. Me personally, though, the higher dribbling stat, I like them to be further wide. But that's just that's just maybe my again my personal preference. But I think a really really solid player, not overly expensive. Can, He's two, natural in two positions. He's very strong on either. He's, he's good on either foot. He's got eye for goal and assists. I think this is definitely a good signing for you guys. On a, if you're especially on a budget, or you like to sign low, lower fee players and bring them up. So, thank you for watching, folks. Like I said, if you want to give me a, a unknown gem that no one's heard about, you don't, you don't think anyone's want to get featured on this video, i.e., like um, the guy from Dortmund, for example, that kind of player who maybe is a god in the game and no one knows about him. Get in my Discord in the in the description in the description in the in the, in the channel on Discord. There's a section there for Styles Tomorrow requests. Put his name in there and as much info as you can on him. I'll apply it instantaneously instantly on there as well, or off because I can from working, and I'll let you know when he's going to be featured, if at all. And most importantly, thank you for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Daily from content on this channel, 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. And I'll catch you all tomorrow for another review. Until then, thank you for watching. Bye bye.